everyone, it's Summer. Um, I decided to film this video even though I wish that I'd have filmed it a lot sooner. Um, I just wanted to do kind of like a little vlog on the current situation of being in lockdown and the whole coronavirus thing. If you watch regularly you'll know that this isn't my usual setting. I moved in with my boyfriend for lockdown so that we can still see each other. Since this whole vlog type setup because I haven't got all my usual filming equipment. But I decided to do this because I was just kind of thinking um, that hopefully we're coming up to the end of lockdown and I haven't documented any of it but in like 10 years time or whatever or when I have kids or I don't know when I'm trying to explain to somebody that can't remember it I want to be able to show them this and say this is actually what was going off. Today is Tuesday the 5th of May 2020 and the UK has been in lockdown since the 23rd of March. Um, so, I don't know, is that like six weeks maybe? But this whole thing started becoming a problem in the UK around the beginning of March I'd say. So I'm filming this with the intention of one day showing it to somebody that wasn't experiencing what was happening or was too young to uh, to remember it so um, coronavirus is a virus that started in China um, I sound like Donald Trump <laughs> oh my god it's thought to have started in like a live I don't know what they called live animal live food markets I don't know but it's people think that it comes from a bat anyway so the idea is that it originated in bats and it's mutated to be able to infect humans and it's passed from person to person by um, like water droplets so if you sneeze near somebody, if you breathe near somebody, cough um, and it can cause symptoms like um, a bad cough, fever um, and it can ultimately lead to uh, pneumonia in people that are susceptible. But as it's progressed, um, people that are fit and healthy and young are contracting it and dying uh, from like how bad the symptoms are. I'm just looking online now and um, as of, it's 20 past one at the minute, and like I said on the 5th of May, um, the worldwide coronavirus cases are 3,665,403 and there have been um, 252,950 deaths. In the UK, uh, as of right now, there have been 190,584 uh, positive cases and uh, 28,734 deaths. Um, I don't think that the new cases and deaths for today have been released though yet. So what has lockdown meant? It's meant that we've had to stay inside for six weeks, pretty much. I've not seen my best friend in like two months. Um, the roads are so clear, there's barely any cars on the road. Um, we're allowed to go out for one hour a day on a walk or for like other exercise um, but we have to stay two meters apart or six feet away from other people that aren't in our household. Not allowed to visit friends and family um, that's been quite tough because obviously there's a lot happening in the world and you kind of want to be around your friends and family so um, yeah, when this is over I'm going to look forward to going visiting my grandparents. We're allowed to shop for essentials, so that's food or medicine. Um, if you go to a shop like Boots or Superdrug where they sell, you know, your toiletries and everything, um, you'll find that like the makeup area is closed, so you can't buy any makeup. It's just essentials like soap, um, shower gel, shampoo and conditioner, that sort of thing. Barely any public transport. Um, I think I can count on one hand how many buses I've seen when I've been out um, having my daily exercise. It's, uh, it's very weird. Um, shops, restaurants, um, 
like cafes and bars and pubs are all closed. They've been closed since the 23rd of March. People that can work from home are working from home. Uh, the only people that are going into work are people that work in uh, supermarkets or uh, have different roles in the hospital. Um, but uh, my, my dad is working from home. Um, at the minute I'm a student nurse and because I'm not in my final year, um, they've kind of just stopped everything. We're having online lectures, so I haven't been into university since March. I should have gone out on clinical placement um, mid-April, but they cancelled that. Uh, and third year students have been, um, have been able to graduate already and they are now out working on the frontline NHS. When this all started, before we even went into lockdown, people went out and started panic buying toilet roll and pasta. So, you know, in the supermarket and other shops that are still open, um, there was a shortage of toilet roll and pasta for a good few weeks. And um, th yeah, that was very bizarre. It was like, whenever you go to the supermarket and see some toilet roll, get it, because you don't know when the next time might be. <laughs> so people have bought those essentials. Um, when lockdown first started, I panic bought a ukulele. So that's what I've been doing while, uh, while I've been in lockdown. Um, I've been doing other important things like university work and stuff but um yeah ukulele has been um has been my my lockdown go-to i had no idea how to play it before this so i've like taught myself um and it's quite fun i've been i've really been enjoying it hey, call me back. quizzes online with like family members um playing games and stuff and just generally trying to um keep ourselves entertained because it's it's really boring just staying at home and not doing much um yeah i think for the first week or two i was probably i think I, well i cried a lot i feel like i've definitely adjusted to it though now and um going back to normal life is going to be quite weird um yeah you get so used to being inside and in your own little bubble and you know when you do go out you look kind of like flinching past people trying not to try not to breathe as you walk past other people and uh yeah it's it's very very bizarre i can't wait to watch this video in a few years and just like remember how uh how much I took things for granted um, because I think that everybody really does. The thing is I was uh, meant to be going to see My Chemical Romance in June. They um, announced the comeback tour so they haven't been around for a while. They broke up and they were my favourite band when I was a teenager. Um, so I was so excited to go and see them in June but that has been moved to next year. So I guess I've waited quite a lot of years for them to make a comeback. So what's another year? I forgot to mention, I've still got the page open on my computer with the um, figures on for the, like which country, which countries have uh, like the most cases of coronavirus and that kind of stuff. Um, the United Kingdom is the fourth worst affected country in the world at the minute, um, yeah, as, as of today. Um, currently, the USA is, well, they have like 1.2 million cases um, and nearly 70,000 deaths. Uh, Spain and Italy are in front of us. Um, and France were really badly affected at one point, but we've overtaken them. So just a little bit more about um life i guess uh during this pandemic um there hasn't been a pandemic like this since like 1918 i think it is uh with the spanish flu 
so that's over a hundred years ago. So uh, when we go to the supermarket, we are having to queue outside. Um, so it's kind of like one person in, one person out. Um, I've heard people queue have been queuing for like two hours, um, which personally I haven't experienced. I think the longest I've queued is maybe twenty minutes, um, and there's like the the people who sit at the tills in the supermarket have got screens up in front of them. Everybody's wearing masks, um, gloves. It's um, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's like some something from like a zombie film. I'm still looking on my computer about some bits, um, and the price of oil is at a 21 year low. Um, so like at petrol stations, the price of petrol is really low. Um, so great news if you've got a car. Um, however, not so great news is that you can put petrol in your car, but you can't actually go anywhere or do anything. Just looking at a couple of graphs, and um, this one is the change in share prices of popular technology companies. Um, Amazon has gone up by 26.9%, Netflix 28.9%, and um, because everybody is doing Zoom video calls, uh, that's gone up by 131.1%. So many countries have closed the borders. Um, we can't go on holiday. So uh, my parents had a holiday booked at the beginning of May. And um, yeah, that's cancelled. In fact, they should be in Spain right now. Um, and they aren't. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that I hadn't booked anything. But I also feel like I will definitely need a holiday after this. I'm just showing you this. Um, this is a picture of nitrogen dioxide levels in the atmosphere. So this top picture was March to April 2019, so just over a year ago. Um, and you can see the red areas are where it's uh, it was particularly bad. Um, and the bottom picture is March to April this year. So look at the difference and I think that that is purely just through people staying at home, uh, no flights, no traffic. Because um, most shops and things are closed, uh, hairdressers and things like that uh, are also closed. So um, I was due to have my hair done like two days after lockdown started or something like that. Um, so I ended up uh, dyeing my own hair so I don't u usually have it this blonde and obviously you can see that my roots have come through quite a lot um, anyway that's not the point when I first did it my hair was like bright yellow so I put a toner on it and it turned half of it blue uh, so that's my lockdown hair disaster um, I've seen a lot of pictures on Facebook and Instagram of people with their uh, makeshift home haircuts and some of them look horrific so uh, luckily mine sorted itself out but those people um, are gonna need a bit more than luck. <laughs> I keep thinking of like random little bits that I want to say um, like halfway through speaking but um, this kind of really took off if you like in Europe in northern Italy uh, I'd say probably in February, early March um, and then it's kind of like travelled further north and west um, and yeah like France, Spain, us, uh, we've, we've, we've got it nearly as bad as, as Italy. Our Prime Minister has had coronavirus, he was hospitalised and uh, in the intensive care unit in London, uh, one of the London hospitals. So um, yeah, it's it's really affected a lot of people. About so many celebrities that have had it, um, and it's just like wow. I was kind of waiting to turn on the news one day and find out that like I don't know, like a, an an A list celebrity had died from it, but. Um, Thankfully, they haven't. Not that I'm aware of anyway, nobody that I know. Um, but Tom Hanks had it. He was one of the first celebrities to start with it, I think. 
Um, I think he was the first one that I heard about. So that was while he was in Australia. Oh, I had a lockdown birthday. It was my birthday on the 13th of April. So um, that was, <laughs> it was probably the most boring birthday of my life. But um, no, I made the most of it and it was nice uh, to say that I couldn't do anything. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. But I think I'm really just missing my doggies. Um, just being able to sit and have a cuddle with them. Um, get lots of kisses so um, yeah that's that's the worst thing um, and like I said before it'll be nice to go and see my grandparents because I am missing them um, but yeah it's it's gonna be very weird getting back to normal um, in a way I don't want it to because there's something quite quite nice about it being this quiet outside so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna do another coronavirus video like an update or anything if anything drastically changes um, I might do another update once uh, the lockdown is lifted it's due for uh, due to be reviewed this week I think um, so we'll find out what happens next but I hope that everybody's staying safe and um, yeah I hopefully will look back at this video in a few years and it will just be a distant memory and uh, we will have all recovered and got through it safely. Make sure that you are staying safe, um, keeping yourself entertained. I did do um, a video of things that you can be doing while you're in lockdown. Um, so I've done quite a few of them. Uh, if you're stuck for something to do, um, I'll put a link to it up somewhere. I don't know. It'll be around. So give me a thumbs up, um, yeah, like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit of a yeah, one, but um, yeah, I thought it was important to document what's happening in some way, shape or form. So here it is. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.